Welcome back to Coding for All YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing about how you can find the factorial of a large number. So without discussing, now first important thing which you need to understand here is why we need to find factorial of a large number. What is different here? So for example, if I say you that find a factorial of 5, then answer would be 120 and you can find it using iterative manner as well as recursive manner. So in Python and Java, what they have is in Java, big integer class is there which can handle integer very easily. And in Python, there are also methods which can handle integer very easily. But in C++ or C programming language, what happens is even long, long int. We have a data type called long, long int, right? So even long, long int cannot handle uh, a very big integer like it can handle up to 1 into 10 raised to 18 okay but after that it cannot handle and what happens is when i say find a factorial of 100 let's say 100 so it is going to contain uh, hundreds of digit and 10 raised to 18 also not going to store that big integer so that's the reason we need to find factorial of large number in some different manner so what would be that manner we are going to see it now so what we are going to do is we are going to store every single digit in the form of an array. So we can know that uh, array has lots of lots of um, you can uh, make an array size up to 10 raised to 6 also. So you know 10 raised to 6 digit can be there in the array. So here to find the factorial of a large number we are going to use an array and in every element of an array we are going to store the digit of the answer. So how we are going to do this and how the code or, uh, code for C++ would be now I am going to write. So now check. So guys now I have written a function which is fact which is taking an integer n. So how it is going to happen. For example I have told you we have to take an array. Uh, max size would be 1000 or anything. Uh, it's up to you. So we have taken an array here. Size would be 1. Why we have taken the size is 1 because even if you want to find a factorial of 0 or 1 you know the answer would be 1 and number of digit in 1 is 1 so at least our size would be 1 so that's the reason we have taken size is equals to 1 at beginning here result of 0 is equals to 1 the array which we have taken like this okay the array is like this this is res array okay 0 1 2 these are the indexes so here res of 0 is equal to 1 here i am storing 1 uh, you you know the reason afterwards when i will explain the code why i have stored 1 here so what is going to happen suppose i have to find factorial of 5 for example okay i have to find the factorial of 5 so n would be 5 and we are going to iterate from i is equal to 2 to 5 so every single iteration there would be four iteration you know the iteration for two three four and five there would be four iteration in this for loop and at every iteration what is going to happen we will call a multiply function there would be another function which is multiply the whole logic of this program would be in the multiply function so in this multiply function we are going to pass the size we are going to pass the array okay this array and also the number like i so what is going to happen size would be 1 we are going to pass the array and 2 in the first iteration this is going to pass in the second iteration we are going to pass size would be uh, i don't know what would be the size this multiply function what it does is it returns some size okay it returns size so that size would be stored here and next time we are going to pass that size so for example there would be some size after this multiply function we are going to pass the array and we are going to pass 3 now one more time size would be there result would be there and 4 would be there size result in 5 up till the number suppose i have to find till 10 factorial of 10 so from 2 to 10 this uh, this for loop is going to call multiply function passing these parameters like size the array and the number itself i 2 3 4 so now you understood what is going to happen in this for loop okay 
and every single time after the for loop ends the result would be stored in this array and we are going to print that array so how result is going to store now we are going to see so now i am going to write the code for multiply function and i am going to demonstrate how it is going to happen now guys i have written the code for multiply function so as i have told you earlier multiply function is going to the uh, return the size okay and it is going to take size array as well as the number as a parameter so for example uh, i have told you i have to find the factorial of 5 so um, multiply function would be calling four times like it is going to call four times so what is going to happen uh, when it is going to start iteration okay this would be my array at zeroth index i have stored one so what is going to happen the size would be one is, uh, array would be this and uh, this would be two okay this would be two so int carry would be zero i am going to iterate from x is equals to zero to less than size so why i am doing this suppose for example my size is three okay my size is three now i know if I place 3 here, so in the array, I have to traverse from 0, 1, 2 up till this index, right? For size 3, I have to only traverse till this second index. That's the reason I am telling x would be less than size and x plus plus until we reach, uh, until we reach the end of the array, until when the digits are placed, I have to use this for loop. Okay. And for example, the size is 1. So one iteration would be there int x is equals to zero size is one. So inside that int product would be one variable. It is going to store result of x which is zero. X would be zero. So this is one multiplied by the number which is two. Two multiplied by one plus carry would be zero. So product would have two now. Okay. Now in the second step what is going to happen product modulus 10. So 2 modulus 10 would be 2. Okay. So result of x here, which is 0, result of 0 would be placing 2 now. And carry would be, carry would be, I know, 2 divided by 10 is 0. Now carry would be 0 because we don't, we know when 2 is multiplied by 1. Okay. When 2 is multiplied by 1, the carry would be 2. Uh, carry would be 0. So that is the reason. Now, what is going to happen if I have to find the factorial of 2, then that is the result. This is the result which we are going to get and we are going to print it. But if the number is something like 5, for example, 5. So what is going to happen up till 3? Up till 3, it is going to store 6 because it is single digit. But for example, on the fourth iteration, what is going to happen? The size would be 1 integer would result would be this array and size would be 4 okay for example i have to find the factorial of 4 in this case this would be the parameters carry would be 0 i have to go from 0 to less than size size is 1 so i have to have only one iteration here now in product would be result of 0 multiplied by n now we know result of 0 is 6 here 6 multiplied by we are multiplying by 4 because we have to find 4 factorial plus 0 24 would be the answer right product is containing 24 now what we are going to store is the base index at 0th index now result of 0 would be product modulus 10 product modulus 10 so 24 modulus 10 would be 4 so here what we are doing is we are storing 4 here okay and carry would be product divided by 10 so 24 divided by 10 which would be 2 so carry would be 2 now for example carry would be 2 we know carry is 2 okay so one iteration is done we have stored 4 here carry is 2 we know carry is 2 now this for loop is ending here now after that we are iterating here while carry Suppose carry is not 0, okay. Carry is not 0, then this, this condition is going to run. So our carry is 2. So while 2, correct. Result of size, size we know up till size is 1, okay. 
so result of 1 would be carry divided by 10 now we know carry divided by 10 would be 2 and carry would be carry a yeah. so what we are going to do suppose carry percent 10 would be 2 so result of size which is 1 we are going to store 2 here carry would be carry divided by 2 carry becomes 0 here size plus plus we have incremented the size to 2 before it was 1 now size plus would be 2 and we are going to return the size because carry becomes 0 so while loop terminates we are going to return the size as 2 so for finding the factorial of 4 what happened we have to store the result in reverse direction in an array for example if I have to store 120 so I have to place 2 here like this I have to place 0 2 and 1 like this okay this is the array I have to place in this manner the answer would be 120 but I have to place in this manner so that's the reason 24 would be placing like this suppose uh, we have 24 inside this I have to find the factorial of 5 okay so I have this result array this result array up till 4 now 5 would be coming here for multiplying that for loop in size would be 2 because I have incremented the size already result would be this array carry would be 0 I have to iterate 2 for loops like 2 iteration because size is 2 I have to go for 0 and 1th index so this is 0th index 1 index until we have find the digit like until here my answer is there so I have to traverse till that index that's the reason we are using this for loop and another thing we have to just use uh, multiply operation carry forward operation like this so product would be result of this 4 multiplied by 5 plus carry 4 into 5 is 20 now result of x0 would be 20 modulus 10 0 is we are going to store here right now carry would be carry divide by 10 now I know carry is okay, okay. Pre product is 20 20 divided by 10 2 carry is 2 we know carry is 2 now okay this is up till now this is the result so size is equal to 1 okay size is equal to 1 this would be there size is equal to 1 like this product would be result of 1 multiplied by 5 plus carry so what is going to happen here we have 2 multiply it by 5 multiply 2 with 5 plus carry 5 into 10 10 plus carry is to 12 12 we have in the product now result of 1 we are going to store product of modulus 2 now 12 modulus 2 is 2 carry would be 12 divided by 10 which is 1 now after that we have carry is equals to 1 this for loop terminates here 0 into for, for loop terminates now carry is 1 we know carry is 1 so the same procedure happens result of size okay results of size size becomes 2 so here it is going to store carry modulus 10 which is 1 carry is carry divided by 0 carry becomes 0 again size plus plus because we have stored 3 elements size becomes 3 and then this while loop terminates return size it is going to return 3 there so finding the factorial of 5 we we will be returning size as 3 and this is the uh, array which we have stored result in so how we are going to print the uh, result so I have told you like this is my result okay 0 2 1 like this is my answer 120 okay I have size as 3 now for printing I just need to lay I int i int i is equal to I can say size minus 1 I can say like 3 minus 1 i is greater than equal to 0 i minus minus from in reverse direction I have to print see out I have to do result of i so first it is going to be size minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 it is going to print 1 then 2 then 0 and when it is equal to 0 it is going to terminate and answer would be 120 so this is the way which we use to find the factorial of very large number you can write the program in your compiler in your machine and you can check whether the answer is correct or not 
and it is definitely going to give you correct answer so this is how we can find the factorial of very large number i think i have uh, made it clear now and if you have any doubt regarding this topic then do comment down below and do subscribe to the channel if you like this video till then bye guys